TV, the third and final day of World Egg Expo here in Tulare, California. Look at the blue skies. The wind has died down. But as we know, Central uh, California, all of California, facing another drought year, and uh, the issues of water are always uh, prominent among uh, producers and growers here in California, and actually uh, other parts around the world as well. We're joined by Mike Ross from Broad here in our studio at WAE.TV. We're in the guest services building uh, off of uh, Median, and we encourage you to stop by. You're going to be here today and, and say hi, and just like Mike. Yes. Mike, hi. Hello. You're from uh, Ontario, Canada, y yes, right? Yes, uh, Woodstock, Ontario, Canada. Woodstock. So I understand uh, that's a quite a trip to make from here to there, huh? Yeah. Well, you know what? You get in an airplane, you can drive, you can fly anywhere in the world uh, pretty quick. So. Yeah, modern technology. That's right. That's we, right. We were talking. Open the program a little bit about the, uh, the the fact that we're facing this water shortage. Water, a big topic here at World Egg Expo. A lot of different, you know, uh, people. They had a big water board meeting yesterday and. They're talking about ways to save water, and your company is doing just that with Braun, right? Yeah, yes. Tell us about that. Yeah, so what we've done is we've designed an attachment that puts a, a polymer membrane under the surface to hold water so as the, uh, the farmer irrigates or, or if, it, uh, if they get uh, any rainwater, we can capture that water and keep it from leaching down into the, uh, the uh, sandy soil below. You say more crop for every drop, right? That, that, is, that? is correct, yes. So uh, tell us about this SWART. This is a subsurface water retention technology, right? Yes, uh, Bill. That, uh, that actually was the, uh, the technology came from scientists at the uh, Michigan, Michigan State University. Uh -huh. So they approached us uh, uh, two years ago, and since then I've been uh, diligently uh, working on designing an attachment to put that polymer under the ground uh, efficiently and uh, uh, make it available for farmers all over the world. So you talk about water irrigation, you know, overhead it, it comes down and if it's uh, any type of uh, sandy soil, that water's gone. You, That's you lose right. that, right? That's the, exactly. Uh, not only is that water leaching into the sandy soil, but uh, in, uh, in the heat you're going uh, you're gonna to lose a lot of that water to evaporation. How does this uh, influence, uh, I mean, obviously you're, you're going to retain a lot of water, but how, how does it influence plant growth and yield? So um, how it does that is that instead of the plants, uh, the roots uh, diving down into the, uh, into the soil looking for moisture, we can, uh, with these membranes, we can hold that uh, water close to the surface so the plants in the... Uh, in the root zone of, of the plants, and that way the plants could actually spend more time growing as opposed to looking for water. Are there uh, any other additional uh, you know, uh, soil water contents retained in this soil profile? Uh, yes, you, the, your fertilizers are, are retained in those uh, root zones as well, so that, that way the farmer can reduce the amount of fertilizer he's putting on the, uh, on the ground. Can you have too much water? Can it flood or? Uh... No, that's, that's the uh, neat thing about these membranes is that they're uh, uh, a semicircle, uh, basically a trough across the field. And so if you get too much water, it'll just spill over the edges and, and down to the uh, sandy soil below. So you're dealing with uh, perhaps some pesticides. Uh, how does that play a part in all this? Are they gonna be retained through this? As well? That is correct. So yeah. it, uh, another uh, neat thing about this is it'll keep, uh, help keep those uh, pesticides um, out of the uh, e ecosystem and into, you know, out of the streams and it'll just keep it uh, retained to the fields. You know, and, and different plants have different root systems, so is there a better uh, plant versus another for this product? Or? Uh, most uh, most uh, row crop plants, this is ideal for them. Uh, you get into certain, um, certain plants have uh, deep roots no matter the water content, like alfalfa, uh, and different tree species. Uh, probably wouldn't be ideal for a product like this. Um, now, soil salinity, sometimes that is, is brought up as a topic. How does right. this SWORT affect that? So, uh, so far, uh, the scientists are still continuing to do more work on, uh, on, on looking into soil salinity, but the early results so far show that this actually helps to reduce the soil salinity in the, uh, in the ground. So, um, these, uh, the SWORT Membranes, increasing grain yields, and uh, the irrigated maize. Play. You've seen this firsthand. This is yes. fairly new. You this study, what, only yeah. a couple of years old, right? Th that is correct. Uh, the neat thing about this is that you know we can confidently say that they, the farmer, can reduce their water 
by 50% and double their their yields. Okay. So you have a, a booth here. If somebody was here today at World Egg Expo, you'd be able to uh, see you. Where are you yeah. at? I'm. Uh, we're actually in uh, Building C, and our booth number is three zero two one. Okay. And if somebody can't make this trip, uh, and if this is the last day, and they wanted right. to find out more information about this SWART technology, how right. could they go about that? Well, they can look us up uh, online at uh, www.rwfbron.com. All right. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. Mike, Mike Ross with Braun here at World Egg Expo. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bill. We're going to throw it back to another special report here at WAE.TV. We'll be back right after this. Mm -hmm.